All right, today basically we're out here. Tournament coming up on Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. And just on my little small local lake that I fish, there'll be like 50 boats this thing. This is not a big lake by any means, so that's a lot of boats for this little lake. Just out here kind of fishing around, not really practicing because this is really a pattern lake and it's kind of, you kind of got to dial it in on that day. But we're just out here trying to catch a couple fish, you know, just give my little ace jig around. Already had a couple bites on it. So the cool thing is my little brother got him a Garmin and a live scope on his boat that he fishes for college. And now that's what we're, I'm kind of looking out here, just playing around with it, looking for fish and stuff. And I can see some on there and like, I'll let y'all see my bait come back to the water. So let's see where I'm at. all right so the problem with this lake is there's a lot of really small spotted bass in this lake and that's not all bad but what it does is you get a lot of bites that you don't connect with so when you set the hook a lot you know you're setting the hook on sometimes like an eight inch spotted bass and you're just not going to hook an eight inch spotted bass that often because i'm not throwing little bitty baits even though the jig that i throw is a little more compact a little more finessey than most it's still not a bait you catch a little spotted bass on so you want to talk about a freaking thump dude yes i got freaking smashed a little spotted bass thump see my line running A little spotted dog. Hooked him good. A little spotted bass. Very pretty one. He doesn't got really that much colorations, like as far as the lateral line goes, but very pretty. This is a new color skirt I'm trying. Got some orange, some black in it. I'm gonna call that one Dirty Crawl. He wasn't having it, was he? You know, most people see that skip right there and they'll think, man, Kyle, how do you skip like that? And they'll ask me, you know, is it the rod? Is it the reel? Is it years of practice and all this stuff? And I'll tell you, none of that stuff matters. Absolutely none of it matters. You want to skip like that, you have to go to untamedtackle.com and order you a skipping jig because that is, that's just all it's about. Years of practice don't help. The best rod, the best reel you can have, don't help. Knowing the 18 pound test line will come off the, off the reel smoother and go faster and allow that bait to have less resistance, it don't help. You gotta go to untamedtackle.com and get this jig, it's the only way you can skip like that. You know, after I figured out that going to Untamed Tackle, helped me skip so much better. I logged on every single day for a week and now I can skip left-handed, you know? And I've, I've struggled with it for years, finally figured out how to get that done, you know? It's just very important. Please, no fishing, thank you. That's crazy. A little ace got him one. Pretty little fish. 14 incher. Large mouth. Last one was a spot. This one's a large mouth. What's it on? Ace jig. All right, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. It is actually Thanksgiving now, waiting for people to get here. And I'm out here painting some of my new prototype ace jigs. So the ones that I get are silver like that, no weed guard, no paint or nothing on them for right now until we get the actual production made. So I have to paint them myself. And I've got powder paint and a torch right here that I'm actually painting these things with right now. So about to paint a couple of these up, get ready to go fishing, you know, tomorrow or someday soon anyways. So you heat it up first. Yep. This torch is very, very hot, so. Then you dip it in the paint. And then, the paint I've got is janky, so I got all these freaking hard spots in it because the paint's like 10 years old. 
So you pick the hard spots out, which you're not supposed to do, but I got powder paint that's literally from like 2010. Okay. So. But it still works. It still catches fish. It do still catch a fish. But it's like, it's not like globs, like, like where you could heat it back up some more. It's literally hard spots in the paint where the powder paint has melted a bunch of times. And I taped over the uh, eyelet, because I don't, I don't like a painted eye. I don't like any kind of paint on the eye of the jig. Whenever I'm personally making it, because obviously, you know, the more paint you have, the more possibility you have of something hurting your line. Even though paint is not near as hard as like metal or nothing, but still could paint, could hurt your, your line with it. That one took right. I'm gonna it up close. It's bad lighting. So Kyle is a fisherman, rod builder, jig maker, well jig painter. What else can you do? Get on hunter's nerves. Um, Play poker. Eat a lot of dressing. I am starving. Yep. You're supposed to starve till you eat on Thanksgiving, so that's what we're doing. We have not ate breakfast. The next step. Yep, the would next be step is putting the weed guard in. So you can see right here, I've got loose weed guards, two different kinds, and uh, just kind of figuring out which one I want to put in here. I think I've got it dialed in to which one I like. You ready or not? Yeah. All right, so this is not how the jig is going to look if it comes from actually the real people that know how to make jigs. It's just the way that I did it. Super glued the weed guard in, painted it myself so the paint's not pristine and perfect. But one thing that is pristine and perfect is this skirt right here. This is going to be the dirty crawl color skirt that I'm coming out with. This is going to be one of my favorite colors. I'm actually putting this thing on right now to throw this week. I'll be throwing it like tomorrow probably in a little tournament locally. So that is the last step. Put this on here and then you just put a tie it on a rod, put a chunk on it, and go catch a bass on it. So, put the last little skirt on there. The missing piece to the puzzle. So, y'all have seen what I did yesterday. Went out to the local lake, threw my jig around. Didn't hardly catch crap, but did get a set of hook a couple times. Then got back today, last night actually, and got the skirts in and the new heads in for my, you know, new colors of ace jigs and some, the updated, exactly how it's going to be per, uh, perfect ace jigs. Got, we had to change the hook keeper a little bit on it, but now I've got some made up to go out there and throw tomorrow. So that's the plan for me is I'm going out to fish tournament tomorrow on Black Friday on Lake Harding. So if y'all are going to be there, I will be there as well. I think me and my little brother is going to go. So see y'all in the morning and hit that subscribe button because that video is coming out next. Hopefully it'll be a good one and we'll catch some fish and hopefully we'll catch on this little bait right here. So we'll see y'all in the morning.